Kenyon Martin, captain of the undefeated trilogy team in Big Three. Thank you for joining us and welcome back to Undisputed. So you're undefeated. Two games left in the regular season. Tell us a little bit about how this first season of the league has has gone for you and what do you make of everything? Um, it's been going great so far. Uh, for me personally, uh, I got hurt week one. Um, kind of tore my hamstring a little bit week one, but I bounced back on um, did the rehab and the team held it down while I was out. Um, went undefeated. Um, been back the last two games, and so we're keeping this thing going. Um, but so, so far for myself and the rest of the guys, it's going great. Um, fans have been coming out in tremendous forms. Um, to support us on week one in Brooklyn, it was like 16,000 people, and it's only been better every week. Um, it's only going to be better moving forward. Um, I'm going to go to the playoffs. So am I hearing from you that there's a possibility in the back of your mind that if given the chance, you could still play in the National Basketball Association? Yeah, I can play, man. No, I can still. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I, it's, age is just a number, in my opinion, yeah. man. I'm given opportunities. Um, I've always had a saying, um, if you give me a practice jersey, I earn the other one. Mm. You know, so um, basketball doesn't change for me. Um, I can still move with the best of them, still get off the floor with the best of them. And my mind is sharper than most of the guys that's playing. Mm -hmm. So um, basketball is a thinking man's game after a while, and I think I got that part mastered. So, but for me, it's being on this, um, the three on three thing, just, um, just um, this opportunity to just keep playing, man. That's what it's about for me. So would, would this encourage you to ask a, an NBA team to let you come to camp? Not a chance. Okay, not because? Chance. I'm not putting my faith in another team's hands anymore. Okay. Uh, my pride level won't let me put myself in that situation unless it's a guaranteed situation. Um, me being waved in Milwaukee and did something to my pride, and I'm not willing to put myself in that kind of situation again. So if there was a guaranteed something on the table, I would entertain it, but not just invitation to come to training camp. Okay. I'm not, uh, so I'm not going to do that. So do you think the, the big three, obviously, you say you enjoy playing. Do you see it expanding, getting more teams? Yeah, I think so. Um, more guys are going to retire. Um, more guys are going to be told by the NBA that they're not, good enough or mm -hmm. whatever the case may be. Right. So, yeah, and, um, guys get the opportunity to stay here, stay home, and or go overseas and do the big three. Right. You know, so there's opportunities there as well for guys moving forward. And there are guys already that's looking to play. Right. Guys coming to the games and seeing how fun it is, guys that hadn't played in a few years right. and doing other things with their life, and they're like, oh, this looks fun. Right. Um, I saw Josh Howard the other day Right. Uh, um, in Dallas. I asked, so you want some of this? Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, so guys looking at it, right. and probably guys who are skeptical at first about it. Right. No, but they see the competitiveness of it, the fun that we're having, the camaraderie that guys are continuing to build brotherhoods and stuff like that. So guys miss that, and guys are going to be a part of it. So moving forward, I can definitely see it expanding more teams and more games. Well, you can't deny how fun it looks. It really does. So oh, no, best of luck the rest of the way. But while we have you, Kenyon, we got to get your opinion on this. Michael Jordan, he won six NBA titles. He's widely considered the best player of all time. So Jordan was asked this week at his flight school basketball camp, who was the better player of all time, Kobe or LeBron? Jordan said, but I rank LeBron over Kobe in terms of best of all time. No, there's something about five that beats three. Now, he may be better than that, but Kobe won five championships. LeBron won three. Kenyon, do you agree with Jordan? What do you think about this? I can't agree with that statement. Okay. Um, I understand it, but I can't agree with it because does does that mean that Robert Ory is greater than you, Mike? Like, if you're just going on championships or Bill mm -hmm. Russell or any one of those Celtics that's, that played on <laughs> those teams. Um, I consider Michael Jordan to be the best of all time. I respect his opinions and whatever he – with the game of basketball, you have to bow down. But with this one, nah, I just – I can't give him that. Um, just solely on championships, nah, I just – Ooh, no, okay, so you disagree with his logic, yeah. but do you disagree with his point? I understand it. I, I understand Kobe it. over LeBron. Yeah, I'm 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 team Kobe. Ooh. But Ooh. that's just me. I played against both guys. Um hmm. more Kobe being in the West, um seeing hmm. that firsthand. Um taking nothing away from LeBron. But um I'm team Kobe. Because just mentality. Yep. Um, he's the closest thing, in my opinion, to Michael Jordan.
Wow. And that's why Michael says that, because they, because neither guy can do Le, – uh, LeBron is better all around than all yes. both of them. Yes. Um, both of those guys are mainly scorers. And, and for, and, but to say because he has five, so with Russell having 11 and mm-hmm. Sam and Casey Jones yeah. and, and Havlicek having 10 and 8, does that make you better? You just can't base it on ring. It's got to be a total body of work. Yes. You got to look at the MVP. How many times did he lead his team and score? How many final MVPs did he got, have? How many all NBA teams? If you factor that in, if you realistically factor all that in, there's no way you could say Kobe Bryant is better than LeBron James. No way. Because it, he picked up his career in 2002. Now, the man came to the league in 1996. <laughs> yeah. So we just don't, those first seven years, yeah. because he had those with Shaq, we ain't going to talk about those. We ain't going to talk about that. But oh, what, about that, what about that period he's so great? What about that period between when Shaq left and when Paul Gasol got there? Tell me what it was like for Kobe, uh, Skip. What do you mean what it was like? He, he won two more rings. Is that it, what, that's what it was in, like? In between Shaq leaving mm-hmm. and Pau Gasol arriving, mm-hmm. what was it like for Kobe Bryant, Skip, if you don't mind me asking? He led the league in scoring twice. And what did he get him, Skip? You tell me. You, you, Skip, I don't know. Your researcher did it. Don't do that, Skip. Why <laughs> you do me like this, Skip? <laughs> I'll just ask you a question. Yep. There was a period of time in which Shaq left and went to Miami. And before they pulled out heist job of stealing Pau Gasol for Kwame Brown. They did. What was, what was going on? What was happening in Kobe? I mean, I think there was a period in there. He missed the playoffs. And he, twice he didn't get out of the first round. Even after having a 3-1 lead. Can you expand on that, Mr. Bailey? There were coaching issues and all sorts of <laughs> There were. Hold on. So let me get this. Phil Jackson was ripping Kobe. Hold on. So let me get this right. His book. Michael Jackson had Phil, Jack- <laughs> Phil Jackson for the better part of his career. Kobe had Phil Jackson for the better part of his career. LeBron James had Paul Silas, had uh, Eric Spolstra, had Tyron Lou, David Blatt. So which one of those guys are Phil Jackson? Mm. You got some mm. glasses, Jenny? Mm. Oh, yeah. None of them. Okay, uh, teammates, which one of those guys is a Shaq that LeBron's played with? No, nah, no, nah, nah. Oh, okay. Mm. No further questions, y'all. You, you are spitting into the ocean that was Kobe's career because it was a Pacific Ocean that could just overwhelm you because, as Kmart just pointed out, the closest thing to Michael Jordan we have seen was Kobe Bean Bryant in killer will, in, as he called it, Mamba mentality, in mental toughness. It's why the GM's poll from 2002 to 2012, for 10 straight years, the GMs of the NBA voted Kobe as the guy in the league they once that they most wanted to have the ball in his hands at the end of games. LeBron was in the NBA starting in 03, mm-hmm. so 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All those years, LeBron wasn't voted the guy because everybody knew LeBron wasn't the guy you wanted to have the ball at the end of the game. LeBron actually needed a closer. He needed Kyrie Irving to be his closer, so he's disqualified. Because we have Mamba mentality versus a LeBron James who had to leave Cleveland to join forces with Chris Bosh and Dwayne Wade. And in their first finals together, LeBron melted down on the national final stage the way we've never seen a superstar melt down. The chosen one became the frozen one. Would that have happened to Kobe Bean Bryant? You know and I know game over would not have happened. I don't know. I remember uh, Robert Ory hit a big shot in the NBA Finals. I remember uh, Derek Fisher hitting a shot against the uh, San Antonio Spurs. But, Skip, you said from 2002 to through 2012 that Kobe Bryant, the GMs voted him, they would want the ball in his hands in yep. the final minutes. Mm-hmm. But I'm looking at my stats. It says from 2008 to 2016, the general manager said they were starting a team. They would start that team with one LeBron James. Mm-hmm. Now, LeBron, I, I, oh, 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 I, but I get that. I, I told you right away. Most all-around skilled player. Hold on, hold on. LeBron can rebound. Yeah. LeBron can pass. So you want to? Also, I'm, I'm just looking at. Was Kobe mm-hmm. Bryant in the league at any point in time from 2008 mm-hmm. to 2015? Would that be a yes or no? No, he wasn't. Come so, on. Yes, he was. You know oh, what he, oh, he was. So, let me get this right. Yeah. So, you don't want the guy to start your team. You just want him to take the last shot. Well, I, I it ain't about taking the last Will shot, though. Will. It's, it ain't, it's it ain't about taking the last shot, in my opinion. Like, Jordan deferred to Steve Kerr and he Paxson did. and those guys. And LeBron would do the same thing. And it's like you – I think you're nitpicking at a, at a certain point. Mm-hmm. Like, LeBron, like, do you want to make the, the right basketball play? Yeah. Or do you want to make the, the – the, the um, final shot, mm-hmm. but it's for me. I want the guy that's gonna make the right basketball play, 
and I want the guy on my team that's willing to take the shot. You know what I'm saying? So you can't have both. You know what I'm saying? In my okay, opinion. but you so, said your team coach. I am. Listen, because I just on it's it's the that's will. My, that's it's me. the killer. Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 it's my kind of yeah. mentality. But yeah. you can't take anything from the fact that a guy is willing to pass the ball to his open teammate. Yeah. You know I'm so saying? Shannon, like, that's my thing. In your heart of hearts, yes. the eye test would tell you you would take Kobe over the no, ball. Yes, not. it would. And I love and I love I'm I'm a Kobe fan. Uh, Kobe signed the autograph. No, he signed autographed a pair of Hirachi. Oh, well, then that did it. Yeah. So you got one over by an autograph. No, no, but I'm just saying, I like, I like, I like (laughs) Kobe. But if you ask me who's the better player of the two, it's not even close to me. Yeah, because who do you want on your team? I want LeBron. You don't. You want, you want Mamba mentality on your team. You know it and I know it. Skill. See, the thing is, see, you, see, you look, you looking at it purely from a scoring standpoint, because that's all he can do better than LeBron. He's looking, looking at it at a mentality yeah. standpoint. He's not looking at guts, basketball. Guts, guts. He's not, he's not, he's not thinking about basketball. I don't want, he's I don't thinking about the players. intangibles that, that Kobe has inside. Kobe doesn't, Kobe doesn't, but Kobe doesn't make anybody better but, than Kobe. He did. Once Shaq left, I thought he made his team better. It took him a while, but he figured out how to make it better. Better than LeBron, LeBron do? Who well, makes their teammates better? Would you, LeBron then? Okay, but yeah, they, they were on more collision of a, course. He's more of a fun. willing passer. LeBron yeah. is more of a willing passer. Yeah. Guys might get more opportunities with, with LeBron, but you like you can't take the fact that you have a closer in and Kobe the same kind of closer you had in Mike. You know, you got the same kind of player in LeBron that you had in Magic. Magic trusts his guys. Magic, go, he's, he's going to always make the right play. And that's what you have Magic LeBron. had killer and, and will LeBron, that LeBron and, and, have. and what I noticed from Michael, Michael has been very, very hesitant to heap praise on one LeBron James yeah. because he knows that's the only guy realistically because he's going to be way over 30,000 points. He's going to be in top 10 in assists, and he's going to be top 10 in steals. Nobody can say that. And he's going to lose a record number of finals. And he's going to lose next year, too. So that'll be whoa, seven. Whoa, 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 skip, skip. It's something to be said. Mm. Did my hold on? Did Michael go to six straight? No. Did Kobe go to six straight? He, he would have gone to six straight. I don't know what he would have done. I don't know what he would have done. Don't don't do not do that. I don't know what he would have done. Hey, don't do that. I don't. Hey, don't do. Listen. I don't know. You listen. You're a smart man. I don't know. You you don't don't do that up here. I don't know. You come on now. We're gonna stick to talking LeBron. You know better than that. When we come back, how about the team of I said no. Whatever. The Lakers next summer. Can you get there before he retired? I don't want to hear that. Listen. Coming up next.